Did you know that if you took all the Oreo cookies ever sold and stacked them on top of each other, you would have 16 stacks of Oreo cookies that could reach the moon? I don't know about you, but this is a fascinating statistic. Throughout our speech, we will be telling you about the history of the Oreo cookie, the three most popular ways to eat an Oreo, and the different types and most famous flavor of this cookie. We hope they have a better understanding of all the factors of an Oreo cookie at the end of the speech. First, let us flash back to the past to discuss the history of the Oreo cookie. According to history1900s.about.com, in 1898, many companies came together to form what we now call Nabisco, which is also the creator of the Oreo cookie. Originally, it was called the Oreo biscuit. In 1912, they had the idea to make a new type of cookie. The idea was to have two round biscuits made of chocolate flavor around a cream-filled middle. During the process of forming a new cookie, the name was changed two more times, and finally, in 1974, the modern name of the Oreo chocolate sandwich cookie was adopted. Nabisco is not quite sure how the Oreo truly got its name. One theory is taken from the French word for gold, which was the color of many Oreo packages in the beginning. Another theory is taking the RE from cream placing it between the two O's from chocolate. While no one would recommend Oreos as a diet food, they are considered accidentally vegan. Also, the original recipe called for pig lard, and Oreos officially became kosher in 1997. Next, we will snack on the three most popular ways in eat Oreo. According to livingthinglittlethings.com, these are the most famous ways. The most famous way we have to be the Oreo in milk. The scientific, for re the scientific reason for doing this would have to be because it tastes better. The average dip time in the milk is about 6 seconds. It also takes about 59 minutes to make an Oreo. Recently, they came out with a utensil called the Dipper, which is a hook-like utensil that cups the Oreo. There also is a little dish to help you with those tall, slim glasses of milk. The next way would have to be dipping the Oreo in ice cream. This is, not most, this is not famous, but a lot of people still do this because it tastes better. The most final way would have to be dividing and conquering. Most people take a, the Oreo cookies apart and eat the cream in the middle, then finishing with the two chocolate cookies. Actually, 50% more females take, away, take apart the Oreos than males. Finally, that's become ethnically diverse to talk about its different and most famous flavors of the Oreo. Oreos are available in a hundred different countries. The most famous flavors would have to be Reese's and Double Stuffed. Double Stuffed is a lie. There is actually only approximately 1.86 more cream in the Oreo. There are many different kinds of Oreos around the world. There is green tea ice cream in Japan, dulce de leche in Argentina, blueberry ice cream in Indonesia, and raspberry blueberry and orange mango in China. There are also some very unique flavors, like limeade, watermelon, fruit punch, and many more unappetizing flavors. There, most of these are only available during the summer. Some people think that Oreos are addictive as psychoactive drugs. One of these drugs is cocaine. It is because of the fats and sugars in the Oreo. People at Ben and Jerry's gave some milky waste to farmers and gave it to the pigs. So pigs do hate Oreos. Hopefully, as you sat with us today, you learned more about the Oreo cookie. First, we told you the history of the cookie. Then, we demonstrated the three most popular ways to eat an Oreo cookie. Finally, we described the different types and most famous flavors of the Oreo cookies throughout their existence. Thank you for letting us inform you about our favorite cookie. We hope that you enjoy the rest of the Oreos we brought for class. Have a great rest of your day.